Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to this new lecture and in this lecture we will see how to add a Windows 7 virtual machine inside your VMware Workstation Pro. Now this uh, will work if uh, you don't have a license version as well because by default you will get a evaluation version but uh, you can use the same method to add the virtual machine in your VMware Workstation. Now first thing first, uh, what you need, you need space in your C drive obviously and then you need, um, I mean, the ISO file. Now to download the ISO file, I will show you a very easy trick here, which will be basically you take a browser, okay, go to Google and say Windows 7 ISO index, okay, whatever Windows you want, Windows like that 7 ISO and then last in the last you just add the index keyword now you will find lots and lots of um, uh, FTP uh, uh, I mean file sharing directories on internet who are sharing those windows ISO files right those those would be direct links now you can um, go to any links for example I will go to this uh, link okay and I can see lots and lots of uh, versions of the windows 7 now I will go for the Windows 7 Professional, Starter, Ultimate, whatever you want, you can go for that, right? So I will go for this uh, Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, I want to go for basically the 64-bit version. So I, I have lots of options, right? Likewise, if you go back here, you should see this one. You can check this one. You can check this one, whatever you like. So you have so many additions here, right? Um, I mean, Tiny 7 ISO. Um, Windows 7 Ultimate. These are like, um, I mean, uh, modified versions of the Windows 7. But if you want the original version, let's go back here and we can see lots of, um, I mean, the the directory is big, huge, right? All the Windows, Linux um, are here. So, for example, I want to go Windows 7. I have the dark edition. I have so many um, Windows 7 versions here, right? So let's take one of the version from here and um, download it and then we will go forward and um, add that inside the VMware workstation. So I'll go and download this. I, I don't want to download the Russian and let's go and uh, looks like I'll go for this one 3 GB. Okay and I will check which one is like faster. In case of download speeds, yeah, so this looks fine. Um, this will take around four minutes to download, and I will wait for the image to download, and then I will um, resume the video and come back. Uh, or else, what I can do is I can fast forward this, and uh, then uh, continue when the download is complete. Okay, so the file has been downloaded. So let's go to the VMware workstation now here. And the first thing you need to do is you have to click on the create a new virtual machine. Or you go here and you can also do a new virtual machine from here. So this and this is both. So I can go here and likewise if I do this, it will take me to the same place. Now from here you have has a wizard which you need to follow so i will keep the recommended settings from here typical next now here you have to select the iso image this that you just downloaded okay so i'll go here and if i scroll down windows 7 64 bit okay open this okay once you have this i will close this then you click on the next option now you can um, uh, have a product key of windows 7 or if you don't have it you can just leave it as is and you can just ha hit on the next option here okay click yes now this is where you can rename the windows uh, virtual machine which will show like this here like genus 3 and evs like this i can say in windows 7 uh, zb networks like this right and then this is where the default location is 
so the all the files of the virtual machine will be saved in C drive now if I if I if you want to um, I mean change the location you can do it because for example you don't have the size right for example I go here I my C drive is almost full so I'll go and say I'll uh, go into my so you can have this in the H drive and say um, make a new folder let's say this is my Windows 7 like this and then ZV network so I have now moved my files that needs to be installed for the Windows 7 VM to another folder right and I'll hit next here now here um, you have to specify the uh, maximum disk size that your Windows virtual machine will have now this is going to be thin provisioning so don't worry it is not going to eat up all your 60 GB uh, once the VM is turned uh, up uh, the uh, as much as uh, I mean memory or storage like you can say is needed it will take from this max to max 60 GB right now I will um, keep this as a single disk and hit on next this is, go is going to be the, your VMDK file which is your storage for the virtual machine now here the default memory is 2 GB and uh, the network adapter is NAT. Now you can change the network adapter to any adapter depending on the usage of the virtual machine that you want to do. Now, if you want this to have a uh, internet, then you can either keep this as NAT or you can keep this as bridge. So I will change this and go to the here, and you can keep this as bridge so that uh, this machine and your local host will will be will be on the same subnet. Or if you keep the NAT, then um, your um, uh, internal IP will be NATed and then sent to the internet. So in both cases, you will have internet. Uh, these are both automatic. And if you want to keep this on a specific VM, then you will click on this one. Or you will click on the custom uh, specify virtual net and then you can specify the VM net. For example, you want to keep this connected on the inside of a firewall and the inside in interface of that firewall is on VM net 2. Then this um, Windows 7 needs also be uh, connected to the VM net 2 only. Okay. So I'll keep this as bridge so that this is connected to the internet and then hit on OK. Now, if I want to change the processor here, I can change that number of processor and uh, number of cores for processor if one uh, memory I would keep as 4 GB because I have around what uh, 24 GBs yeah so after that I can just click on close and finish now this has been reflected here and I'll finish and now it will create the disk once the cre disk is created you will have to turn on your windows and follow the wizard there as well the setup wizard right so let's wait for the a disk to be created and then we will continue with the steps to go forward now if you go to the H drive um, so if I'll go to the H drive and inside H drive I've created a Windows 7 folder I'll go inside that like this now it is right now empty but once the image is created you will see the VMDK file here but uh, let's wait for this okay so the VM is starting now this will basically start the setup uh, if you don't know this setup I mean when you install it fresh Windows uh, machine through uh, Windows um, OS through a USB or a, a CD drive you would have gone through this setup so the same setup needs to be followed here uh, this is a one-time process so let's go ahead and um, I will just uh, go on and um, I mean fast forward with this video um, if you are not able to understand something you can just pause and see uh, where um, which option needs to be selected right now once you click inside the black portion to get the cursor um, out you need to ha uh, click ctrl plus alt and then only your cursor will be out right if I click inside that I cannot bring my cursor back okay so you need to um, click on control plus alt if the cursor is stuck inside the um, black VM portion
okay so the windows vm has been installed and this is going to restart now i can just click the restart now here okay great i can see the windows is now starting So during the installation, uh, the Windows uh, VM will reboot multiple times. So don't worry. Let the setup do its thing. And ultimately, when the Windows will ask you or I mean log in automatically, if you have set up a, a, a password during the um, installation, like the wizard, right? Then it will ask you, prompt you for a password. If you haven't, ju just like I didn't, so it should um, directly. Um, log you into the system and you will you should see the desktop now you can see that it is saying preparing your desktop so i should be logged into my system and i should see my windows desktop okay so i can see that my windows is now installed and um, it is connected to the to the internet as well because my windows is uh, bridged so this should have the same ip i mean uh, from the same subnet like 192 168 um 1.0 uh, yeah so it has 192.168.1.104 and if i try to ping my default gateway which should be 192 192 sorry ping 192.168.1.1 you can do this and also if uh, you try to ping any internet um ip let's say 8.8.8.8 .8 the google dns it should be working even if you open the um, browser the internet should be working over here right so if you see like this uh, let me see ask me later and see google if you do an ns, NS uh, look up here to see now you can see the google is working in the background right so yeah so the internet is working here now let's um, do and change the resolution here so I will say now try to match it with your system whatever you have on your system right so if you want um, good resolution for example mine is around 1920 I guess yeah so if um, it it may go like this uh, and then you will have to like expand um, or you can say enter full screen mode so that you will not see the scroll bars here this would look like the vm would look like the actual desktop to you right and then this uh, file menu will be on the top and if you want to minimize the vm you just click on the minimize and if you want to maximize you can go here right and then if you want to exit the full screen you have the option to exit the full screen from here and uh, let's say i want to change the screen resolution to maybe something lower uh, to say whatever 136 i had right so let's yeah keep this yeah okay and then uh, i mean that's all for the uh, installation of the v uh, the windows 7 in vmware workstation pro now uh, for for me i have added uh, i have connected this vmnet on the bridged network adapter you can have multiple adapters here if you want to add this adapter um, and another adapter you can add it uh, to the windows machine and connect it to a different vm say vm2 vm1 whatever you want right so yeah you can do that as well uh, that is one thing and uh, um, i mean uh, that's uh, what we wanted to show you um, in this uh, video lecture uh, how to install the windows 7 host in your vmware workstation so hope you liked the uh, video and uh, uh, I will see you in the next lecture.